Do you love sending Christmas cards but wish you could create something super cute and customized that really shows off your personality? Or maybe you've been thinking about starting a digital downloads business on Etsy. Or you need to add some holiday products to your store. Well, this week I've got your Christmas card solution with completely customized Christmas cards made in Canva. These are super fun to make and great digital products to add to your Etsy shop. Christmas cards can be either tall, which is portrait style, or wide, which is landscape style. You can get greeting card paper on Amazon or your local office supply store. The pack I use is an Avery product and comes with envelopes, and I'll include a link in the description to my personal favorite, which is an Avery product. The great thing about using an Avery product is that you can go to their website and download their template in a PDF, and then you can upload it to Canva and use it to create your card. For this tutorial, we're gonna create a wide style greeting card. So we're gonna start with an eight and a half inch by 11 inch artboard. The first thing I'm gonna do is pop the Avery template onto the artboard. Now I'm going to pull a guide down right over the line on the template so that if I replace the background, I've still got the guideline in the middle of the page where the fold is gonna be in the card. For me, the easiest way to actually create the card is to envision it being folded in half with the bottom half of this template being the front of the card and the top half being the back. And I'll show you why this is important in just a minute. But for now, we're gonna get our our graphics in place and focus on the front of the card. So I'm going to add this sleigh and I'm going to flip this horizontally. Then I'm going to add this little snowman, size him down a little bit. And I really want him to look like he's sitting in the sleigh. Pull him right there and then I'm going to send backwards. All right, I'm going to group these two graphics together so that they stay in place and put it right there. And now it's it needs the sparkly background, so we'll add this and that backwards. Okay, so I've got the front of the card like on its way. Now I'm going to do the background color. And the reason that I went ahead and added my graphics first was so that Canva could give me the colors in the photo. And I'm gonna use that to make this the background color. So now I'm going to go back and the sparkly background, I'm going to hit duplicate and I'm going to pull that that one to the top of the card. And for this one, it's okay if they overlap because the sparkles are spaced out. Okay, so now we're going to add the text for the front of our card. I'm gonna go to text, I'm going to add a text box and we'll type in what we want it to say. And then we'll size this up a little bit. Let's change the font to something more Christmassy. And I love this Etco Brookshire font. For Christmas. I just think it's so perfect. We'll size this up a little bit and then we're going to go to position and center. Then I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to give it a curve and that's too much of a curve so I'm going to pull it out just a little bit and then we'll center this, make it just a smidge bigger. Okay, so that's where we want it. Let's click on that and go to position and center. Snowman needs to come over just a tad. There we go. Now let's change the color. You could leave this as black, but I think a little pop of green would be perfect. So I'm going to go to the color button. I'm going to go to the custom color button and I'm going to use the eyedropper tool. To find the perfect green that I want. And now you have the front of your card complete. Pretty quick and easy. Now it's time to talk about the back of your card, which might seem a little complicated at first, but it's really not as long as you don't overthink it. But basically the back of the card needs to be flipped upside down. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to add these two graphics, little house, and then the Christmas tree. Okay, if you look at this, and this is your fold line, 
if you were to print this and fold this card right now, these two graphics would be upside down on the back. Going to do, select the first graphic, go to flip, we're gonna flip it vertically. Then we'll go to the next graphic, and we'll go to flip, and we'll flip it vertically. And then you resize it, get it lined up where you want it, and that's the back of your card. So now, when it's printed and folded on the back, your graphics will be in the right direction. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. So we have the outside of our card complete. And now if you want to customize the inside of your card, you want to duplicate the page by going to this square, right clicking, and select duplicate page. For this page, I'm going to delete whatever I don't want on the inside of the card. I'm going to leave this because I know that I'm going to put text in it. So for this one, when you add graphics to the top of the card, you want them to be in the right direction so that when the card is opened, the graphics are in the right direction too. So these you don't have to flip upside down. And we'll shift and group these together and then go to position and center. And then for the text, I'm going to go in and type what we want it to say. Okay, and that looks Pretty good. I'm going to bring down a guide just to kind of make sure that this is right where it needs to be. Looks good. So now I'm going to duplicate this text box. I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to select none and then highlight the text and type in what you want it to say. And then if it looks, the spacing looks a little off, go up and fix your line spacing. Set it the way you want it. And just kind of center that right in the middle under your curved text. Okay, that looks better. Just have to work with it until you get it to look the way you want. So now your card is complete. This is your front and this is the inside. So what I would do is I would go to the share button. I would go to download. I would change this to PDF standard, flatten the PDF and download the file. Then depending on your printer settings, when you open the PDF, click on the two sided option and it will automatically print both sides of your card for you. And if you want to sell this in your Etsy shop, you would upload the PDF file. And that's how you make Christmas cards in Canva. I hope you found this tutorial fun and helpful. Please be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials. If you're brand new to using Canva, I'll have a link in the description for my free Getting Started with Canva, the basics course, to walk you through all the basic fundamentals of Canva. And be on the lookout for my upcoming DIY planner blueprint course. It will be perfect if you're wanting to start your planner business for 2023. And of course, you'll also find the link for the free 30-day trial of Canva Pro, which I highly recommend if you don't already have it. Plus, there's a link for my 223 Canva Elements Keywords ebook to help you find some amazing hidden gems. And if you want to find amazing graphics like the ones I've used today, I'll leave a link in the description for my go-to resource, Creative Fabrica. I absolutely love them and cannot recommend them enough for their super reasonable prices and an enormous library of graphics and fonts. I'll be back next week with another tutorial. And until then, make it a wonderful week and enjoy your Canva. Mm -hmm.